How is it going today? Lois. Lois. Come on, it's Dwayne. My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jasmine. We have for you Saitama. Saitama? Saitama? Saitama. 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 I don't know. I'll be pronouncing it. It's different ways you can they pronounce it. Yeah. One Punch oh. Man. Okay. okay. Thank you. Versus Popeye. <laughs> No, not you saying like that. Popeye. Well, that's how he is. He, he sound like Popeye. Sound like he smoked thirty cigars. No, he's come on, spinach. come here, all olive oil. He's if spinach, I, if spinach make me, if spinach make me. Um, Popeye made me so mad because it made me the cartoon made me think that spinach, spinach was good. actually like. And then I ate, ate it. It, it was a watery just, mess. I was like, yeah. So, oh man. And then if you don't put no salt on it. Ooh, mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, okay, uh, if you guys, um, come, oh, god dang, I'm everywhere. <laughs> if you guys have a request, please follow our social media in the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive on in. All right, who are you going for? I feel like this is gonna be like a really wacky Saitama. one. Saitama. Saitama. Yes, yeah, sir. Popeye, the Sailor Man. The Sailor Man. Versus West. <laughs> mm. Old versus new. Healthy eating versus basic exercise. Healthy These eating. These two warriors <laughs> may seem ridiculous, but their unassuming exteriors belie impossible strength. <laughs> what is butt? It's with an eye boomstick. And it's our job to analyze mm. their weapons. Our that first season of One Punch Man is still golden. Uh, I like the second season. It's good, but it's I not like as first. Villain. I think the animation is not as good as the first season. Life uh -huh. is pain. Brutal mm -hmm. and short. The challenges we face during our brief sojourn on this tiny blue marble are what make us human. They light a fire in our soul. <laughs> they make it all worth something. Yes. Without them, we are lost. Yeah, it's a little early in the day for an existential crisis, but I do like I Gumball. Yeah. For this failed salary man, all it took to get that fiery passion it's back so was different to with hands. But chin child <laughs> from a crab monster in underwear. I thought this that was hella was weird. Yeah. And he was going to be a superhero. And so he trained, pushing his body beyond its limits and shattering the boundaries of humanity. <laughs> so hard his freaking hair fell out. Saitama's strength grew exponentially day by day with the goal of becoming the greatest hero who ever lived. Mm -hmm. And much mm -hmm. to his horror, that's exactly what he got. Yep, so everything became too punch. easy. Damn it! <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. The, one, the, the only, the infamous Kate Baldy. But anyone who's cool knows if it's one punch man. Mm. Isn't mm -hmm. he can't help but beat almost every opponent he's faced in exactly one punch. Yeah. One friggin' punch. And this is a universe with some pretty whacked out monsters. Yes. A giant who's over a quarter of a kilometer Old tall. Titan. And can stomp city-sized craters into the earth. Mm. Or an esper who can effortlessly pull giant meteors so from cool. outer space. Mm -hmm. Or a monster king who shaved off a continent from the Earth's surface and lifted it into the stratosphere. Mm. And St. Thomas <laughs> never even broken so much as a sweat fighting any of them. During their battle, that same monster king absorbed this huge chunk of the Earth's core and fired it at Saitama. Who blocked it by squirt gunning some lava at it? <laughs> the lava he was bathing in, naked. And then he punched him. Surprise. <laughs> Saitama's created <laughs> after images just by hopping side to side. Defeated a martial arts master with his, his butt. butt. Yeah. And survived yeah. the inhospitable vacuum of space after being kicked all the way to the moon and before jumping back to Earth in about 16 seconds. That's 8% the speed of light. Definitely the tiny blocked attacks from this alien dude who stated to move near light speed or punch so fast his fist starts to blue ship. You know, that thing that happens when you approach the speed of light? Saitama utilizes <laughs> absurdly superhuman strength and speed with techniques like his devastating normal punch. <laughs> and if he wants to amp it up, the consecutive normal punches. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Those are his attack names? What kind of self-respecting anime protagonist is he? Plain and simple, mm. he's a satire form. Instead yep. of seeing his journey from the beginning and enjoying serious his struggle to the top, we join him when he's already there. Basically, imagine if Goku went Super Saiyan in his fight against Jackie Chun. Kind of sucks all the drama out of it, doesn't it? And that's the point. Far from the power fantasy the genre is known for, mm -hmm. Saitama's life became an existential nightmare. Without suitable conflict, the struggle that had heretofore defined him became meaningless. Mm -hmm. His yeah. new reality was inescapably <laughs> boring. <laughs> Which is really like, saying is something nothing. when he can decimate mountains without even hitting them. Or shatter yeah. asteroids that rank a 9 on the Torino scale. For those not in the Torino, no, that's equal to 1 trillion tons of DNT. This guy's training mm. must have been insane! That would be no. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer run every single day. And that's it. <laughs> 
You've got to be shitting me. It doesn't make sense because it's not allowed to make sense. To be fair, though, <laughs> to someone who isn't already a trained soldier or athlete, <laughs> keeping that workout routine every day for years is pretty much impossible. Yes. Well, 100 push-ups and sit-ups are technically doable, especially if you space them out. Doing 100 squats and then running half a marathon every mm -hmm. single day would absolutely destroy your legs. What's yes. your name? Effective workouts involve shredding muscle fibers at the micro level, then allowing them time to repair themselves yes. more mm -hmm. durable than before. This repair process requires hydration, consistent yep. protein and carbohydrates, and yep. lots of sleep. But That's what he's doing. He's losing weight. He's losing weight. Now it's us. Sleep workout. Sleep workout again. He shreds over and over and over. After a few days, he shouldn't even have been able to move, but he just... Yep, go mm -hmm. There might be an explanation. Take the brilliant scientist Dr. Genus, whose half century of research into evolution Saitama erased in, well, one punch. <laughs> According to Genus's hypothesis, Saitama's training broke his limiter. Basically, every living thing on Earth has a limit to their natural abilities. At mm -hmm. some point, no matter how badass they are, mm -hmm. they'll plateau. Wait yep. a minute. Have I peaked? <laughs> well, Saitama trained so hard, he literally defied the laws of nature and reality. Mm -hmm. He just breaks the logic of his world. He crushed the entire Damn, I yeah. evolutionary yeah. biology in the palm <laughs> of his hand. And while he has stated that his strength did eventually stop growing, it's pretty clear he's never gotten close to showing it off in full. Such as mm. when he fought the godlike alien conqueror, Lord Boros. Yeah. And finally mm -hmm. broke out his serious punch. A mm -hmm. blow where he punches. Mm -hmm. A little harder than normal. <laughs> than normal. And reflected Boros's collapsing star roaring cannon. Now you see, that's an attack <laughs> An energy blast that was going to blow up the friggin' planet. That's over mm. 50 zenitons. Yo, I just look, look. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm but, sorry. I'm fanboying out, bro. Uh huh. Look at the greatness of season one, just mm -hmm. showing you how crazy these attacks are. Mm -hmm. They showed you an above aerial view of planet Earth with that attack bursting clouds across the Earth. <laughs> that is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm I sorry, know. I am sorry. I, I hope we get season three, man. I hope we do, I man. I think we will. <sighs> I'm sorry, that was mm -hmm. sorry. Of the world's strongest nukes going off at once. Despite his obvious and overwhelming power, <laughs> Saitama's accomplishments were never officially recognized. No, nope. as nope, if no one the in their right minds could believe a psych ward Charlie Brown could save the world. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to mind. Almost as if being removed from anything resembling conflict gave him a perspective <laughs> on how Trophy and contrived his world so is. Cool to only me. Saitama's the only one in on the joke because who cares about how far up their own ass a supervillain is? When you just chill at home with your buds and play video games. Can't remember him. <laughs> that was the real lesson all along. Not to value our lives based on our accomplishments, but on the time we spend living and enjoying life's simple mm -hmm. pleasures. I'll leave that to Saitama, and I can't think of anything more pleasurable than punching so hard my name becomes a byword for literally Oh my god, it was the, the, the ball. It was the the Broken anime characters. Because until Saitama finds his equal, he's gonna end all his fights in... <laughs> mm, oh man, great. Oh, well. Popeye the Sailor Man, hero, adventurer, sailor, man. Every day, and uh, have you ever wanted to know what angry I always all the sex sounds weird. like? He can sing. <laughs> I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. How exactly do you know? Never mind. Popeye's origins are humble. Born to the cruelly named Poop Deck Pappy, Popeye was huh? immediately upon birth horrifically ugly. So ugly, his father fled in embarrassment of his spawn. Hey, look at you. Returned. So Popeye grew with a chip on his shoulder and a thumb in his eye. Yeah. Especially after discovering his higher calling, beating the snot out of people. <laughs> Don't worry, Popeye's fists are righteous, only spilling the snot of those who deserve it. Inspired by his adopted father, Whaler Joe, Popeye set out to put oh. his combat oh. prowess What? To <laughs> join the Navy. See, I didn't know that much Truth about it. I just watched a few he episodes of Popeye. Science of Me boxing, either. And do battle against World War II era racial stereotypes. I'm being nonspecific. Not just for sensitivity, 
but because there are so many examples. Originating in the era of mm. rubber hose animation, Popeye's body is essentially huh. made of, well, rubber. Rubber, able to yeah. Stretch, twist, squish, and squash any way he likes. Or rev up his arm for a punch that'll knock you around the planet. Popeye's punches <laughs> are fascinating. They punch them back. Incorporate the targets into composite <laughs> elements, like turning anchors into fish hooks, an alligator into handbags, and several Native Americans. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't even want to know. Oh, oh man. He's a cartoon. He can basically do whatever he wants. He can shoot fire from his corn cob pipe, pull a canyon closed, punch <laughs> bolts of lightning out of the air, and even give the sun a black eye. Judging by the distance the sun <laughs> is from the earth, as well as the time it took for the high striker puck to reach it, the puck must have been moving at 500 times the speed of light. In so order to generate that force, Popeye must have swung his fist just as fast. Hell, he's even shadow boxed so fast, he somehow occupied two places at once and hit what? himself. So, uh, and then bots in the cell. Oh my goodness. Ugly <laughs> the secret to pulling insane bullshit superpowers out of your ass? Because if so, you might want to get on that, buddy. Ha ha. No. The secret to Popeye's immense physical the strength spinach. is simply the mm -hmm. virtue mm -hmm. of spinach. nutrition. Yes. Uh, I knew you'd find a way to make it lame. Specifically, Popeye has spent his life consuming a miracle herb that Maybe has think turned him from good, a mere man. sailor into a veritable spinach. Put some hair on your chest, too. Spinach. Propaganda straight from the bean counters at Big Vegetable. Mm -hmm. You'll never get me to eat my food. I remember that. <laughs> you can <laughs> tell the animals. Yes. Great alcohol for me. Uh, <laughs> originating in Persia, <laughs> Spinachia oleracea is a leafy green. Green nutrient Ew, I don't like the way they I don't like the way they splash that right. blood pressure and apparently imbue your biceps with the power of God in anime. While a normal can of spinach <laughs> contains about 44 <laughs> calories, when used in Popeye's world, its effects are multiplied. Not only does it immediately increase Popeye's already impressive strength and speed even further, it makes him virtually <laughs> impervious to harm. <laughs> it lets him fly, turn invisible, shape shift his body into literally anything, and even survive the universe getting turned off. That's right. This big whatever huh? the hell that thing is is apparently God. What? Turned off reality in order to kill Popeye and his friends. <laughs> what? Except guess what? Popeye was fine. Why? Because he eats his spinach. I eat me spinach. spinach. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what? A single oh can of spinach god. in Popeye's world was once able to grow a beanstalk so tall it reached into outer space all the way to a nearby solar system and shattered this stylized yellow Look at star. star. By measuring Poor the volume star. of the spinach stock and including the caloric density of regular spinach, we can calculate one single can of Popeye's spinach contains over 46 undecillion calories. Huh? That's a what? Undecillion? Did not make that number up? Times Come greater on. than the total calories the average Ugh. person will consume Ugh, over we gotta be that entire close to life. Now? That's over 46 million Yoda tons of TNT, enough to destroy well, I'm a star far enough to yeah. punch your annoying neighbors so oh, hard no. that when they right. land, they tilt the Earth. By measuring the angle of the planet after tilting, we can determine its axis. And he keeps getting back up. I, 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 less than a second. That's a speed of about 1.8 million meters per second. I wonder, is that enough to power a rocket ship so fast it travels backwards in time? Yeah, because that happened. I only know of one type of herb that'll take you through time. <laughs> Whatever kind of spinach it is, it sure ain't normal. Not true. Popeye doesn't consume some special magical spinach. Any kind will do, even if it's handed to him by the audience in the real world watching his cartoon. He can summon oh, wow. he breaking the fourth wall too. Mm -hmm. for them, praying to gods, painting them into reality, or just waving <laughs> his hand. The dude has literally been disintegrated into <laughs> nothing. He's an in way. Nothing this right. the spinach can out of nowhere and ate it. Nothing ate it. His nothing. And then he came back with his. I don't. I don't know. He can even punch so hard he tears the field. <laughs> <laughs> even the announcers are like, I, I don't. I don't know, bro. So it looks like Popeye's gonna win from the so like yeah. Popeye's ridiculousness. Yeah. Two different he came from nothing. And whoop their asses. <laughs> no, he's a pretty chill broski. Oh, uh, they got a live yeah. action version. Yeah, they do. It looks so nightmare. weird. But he's always down for a scrap. So if you decide to antagonize him, be aware you're messing with one of Cartoon's all-time heavyweight champions. And. Your own sake. Damn, he punched him so hard he went into the dang, the dang audience. He went through the team. He probably been and grabbed him back into. Oh, I'm gonna go one punch, even though, even though, even though Popeyes is crazy. I feel like Popeyes gonna win because it's just sheer craziness. Oh man, this crap's always so expensive. Man, eh, no thanks. He gonna come out the can. <laughs> Damn. 
Well, one bad mouth and me spinach. Put him up, yes, big palooka. Whatever. <laughs> Looks like I'm actually getting hit. <laughs> this is gonna be a goofy fight. This is gonna be hella goofy. Well, blow me down. You ain't got a scratch on yet. I know, right? <laughs> Overwhelming strength is so boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yeah. Huh? Uh-oh. Right. Oh my mm. god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, okay. Uh, a little bit more extra things now. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Picking oh up. my god, and the water? And the water. Exactly. I don't, because the water's in space now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh my goodness. They 3D. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Right. Why is he so small? Is he Broly now? Like, what is going on? Oh my goodness. Hey, they. Oh. Damn, is that the moon that just blew up? I don't know. He blew up. Uh, hey, why he tied it? Right. Why he tied it like that? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nah, get the hell. Finish. <laughs> amazing. This is amazing. He's having fun. This is so strong. Oh my oh god. My oh god. my so god. Scary. He looks scary as hell, bro. That's gonna haunt me in my nightmares, bro. Yes. Now they're going back to base? Oh, oh okay, okay. yeah. Can this be? <laughs> my heart's beating so fast. He said, fast. this is so fun. My muscles ache. I can feel them again. <laughs> Man, bounce He's off the sun. I can stand, cause I can't stand no more. Oh my I god. I thought it would happen. A serious fight. I found it! Knock, knock, knock. Thank you. You're spinach mascot. No! Oh my god. 
fight was over easy? Wait, except isn't Saitama's whole gag that he can't lose? It is, but it's more nuanced than that. Despite breaking his limiter, Saitama's strength isn't limitless. He said so himself. Breaking yeah. his limiter meant his potential strength was likely infinite, but there's nothing left in his world powerful enough to mm. push him to get stronger. Get that. Like yeah. a bodybuilder stuck with five pound dumbbells. He also no doesn't possess some magical ability to kill someone in one punch regardless of effort. Powerful adversaries like Boros and Garo have survived his blows repeatedly, albeit briefly. And he's never met anyone quite like Popeye the Sailor Man. Mm -hmm. yeah. According to the mangaka, One Punch Man's gag is that Saitama is an anime protagonist at the end of his series, slapped in at the beginning of his series, where he's mm -hmm. too strong to have a challenge. So, yeah. if we know Saitama's strength does have a limit, what is it? We know he can deflect Boros' planet-destroying blast, but he was clearly super casual about it. Yeah. They have called it his serious punch, but that's the joke. He's only now getting kind of serious. <laughs> In order to get as generous a number as possible, let's assume Saitama was exerting the least amount of effort he could to throw that punch. Mm -hmm. Since he's still technically a human, we can assume the ratio between the least amount of effort possible and the most is relatively consistent with other humans. Let's mm. just say he burned the equivalent of only one calorie relative to the strongest punch ever recorded, which was over 1,000 joules. Mm. For reference, oh, the average person burns about hurt. one calorie yeah. a minute doing absolutely nothing. So this is assuming Saitama is literally as casual as physically possible. Then it make his mm. strongest punch about 200 times greater than his weakest. Using Boros' energy blast as a base, Saitama's theoretical strongest punch would be over 11 unitons of TNT. Mm. That's absolutely insane. Enough to annihilate Uranus four times over. My goodness. That's impressive, but that's still far less than Popeye's star-busting power, which was millions of times that greater. That got sure, reality to him, and it still didn't work. don't know Saitama's full <laughs> strength exactly. But the point is, whatever it may be, it can be measured. That's right, but mm -hmm. trying to compare them with just numbers isn't the whole story. While Saitama can break his world fairly easily, it's still a semi-realistic world that generally mm -hmm. obeys the laws of physics. Mm -hmm. Popeye and his world, on the other hand, it's can't not. really be measured at Look all. <laughs> so he's occupied two places at the same time, fight ripped the film strip he's animated on, and knocked out the guy drawing him. Can't do math <laughs> to figure that out. Popeye's just on a whole other level. They draw me. Even if Saitama... I yo, I yo, yo, this is good. Wow. One punch. <laughs> Popeye has survived being fully disintegrated, only to recover good as new. Mm -hmm. Hell, God turned off all of reality and Popeye just ignored it. <laughs> and on the flip side, there was nothing stopping Popeye from just turning Saitama into a bunch of eggs, which he can do without spinach. So mm. even if Popeye was weaker, he'd still have a way to finish the job in one punch. Saitama was yeah. easily one of the strongest combatants we've ever seen, but pure strength was no match for Popeye's insane power, Ridiculous. survivability, <laughs> right. and plain old Ridiculous. shenanigans. If you thought nothing could match the one punch man, now you know, Popeye's spinach can. The winner is Popeye. <laughs> wow, man, that was a that was one of their and best battles. One of yeah, like their like best it. ones. Yeah. Thank you so much. I see why everybody was blown. Yeah, yeah, now, nah, now, nah, yeah. To another as Death Battle will return in 2022. Damn, this from 2021. Wow, we, we was late. We are super late, Mary. Lord. Yeah, we're super late. We're super late. We're super late. We but super late. We're super late. Lord. But I'd I rather, you know, I like the episode. That's just like me in real life. I kind of like the episodes build up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody else like that out there. I like the episodes build up so that later I can binge watch it. Mm -hmm. So, like, that, that's just me personally. <laughs> but this battle was dope, man. This was, was way back last year. Jesus Christ. I know. Man, we were, we, hey, we got to it, okay? All right, we got to it. <laughs> Um, what do you think about the battle though, man? I think it was good. I think it was great. I mean, it but after funny. they explained all the stuff that Popeye can do, and like, after reality turned off, he was just like, no, I'm like, alright, he gonna yeah, win. He gonna win. Yeah, he's gonna win, yeah. Like, what else can you do? Even the narrators, even the host was like, like alright, bro. Like, nothing in eight minutes, we, I don't know. We don't man. know, man. We, we don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, comment below, let's just... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is...